having a cap on the back of it might not cap, it's just gonna be a cap. Something like this is probably the most comprehensive camping all-in-one unit that I have seen. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head here is, well, there's two things. One I mentioned in my video, and the other one just came to me as I'm looking at this here. It's like, where do you put your shoes when you get in there? You have a kitchen in there, you have a stove in there, you have, if you wanted to, lift this thing up right here, shower. Uh, I mean, come on. And one of the things I like most about in here, my wife will not come out with us because of the toilet situation. And Skinny Guy, they took care of that. So you have, this is a fully functional flushing toilet that goes down into that black water tank down below. You have a 17 gallon black tank, 18 gallon gray, 34 gallons of water, not including whatever you may capture if you're in an area that gets rain. You guys get a lot of rain out here, don't you? Hey guys, today we're out here in the hot, lovely weather of Texas. We're out here with a guy, Alex Schult from California. So Alex is out here filming a video over the Skinny Guy Camper. Flew all the way out here from Cali to check this bad boy out. So we're gonna actually pick his brain, see what kind of pros, cons we have with this thing, what he thinks about it. So Alex, <laughs> what'd you find out? <laughs> Daniel, first of all, brother, thanks for having me out here. Yeah, friends, I'm with uh, Four Wheel Drive Talk, and uh, absolutely correct. Yeah, they flew all the way from Irvine, California. You know, it is pretty hot out there, but you guys have humidity out here. That's where yes, sir. I would say temperature-wise, <laughs> we're actually a little warmer because we get into triple digits right now. Right. You all, I think, uh, last when we came over here, I think it was like 91 degrees, but I think your humidity is really... That's where you guys raise it up. You're Makes like, it feel like 102. Yeah, you're yeah. like, here, hold my beer, and uh, <laughs> the, the weatherman is having fun with that. But, yeah, so the cool part is, yeah, I did fly this distance because, in all reality, these things are, you know, look, four-wheel drive talk, we're, we're all about getting content in front of people to help them make educated decisions yes, on sir. different gear. And while tents and small items are pretty easy for me to get my hands on to and shoot videos and so forth, some of these larger items, there's pretty substantial wait lists and so forth with manufacturers or people that are dealers don't have them. So it's tough to find them to be able to create content around. So I really appreciate you guys allowing us to come out here. I brought my son out here with me. He's having a blast right now. And so, yes, the skinny guy. This is, you know, it's funny because we get, we get a lot of questions on a lot of things relating to the overlanding, uh, off-road camping space and so forth. These skinny guy campers, like in the video that I just shot here, in that video I spoke about, I ran into these guys four years ago at Overland West. And I remember looking at this and first time seeing it and it, it catches you off guard because it's like, holy smokes, uh, <laughs> what, what is, is it? it? <laughs> and so the owner of a uh, of skinny guy and who is just a really interesting dude, he starts walking me around, showing me around this thing. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. And so four wheel drive talk, we featured these a number of times over the years because it, when you look at the different types of campers or overlanders out there and so forth we all have our different needs and so forth and some people they don't have the space to put a trailer they want an all in one unit to be able to get off grid and be able to go camping and if you can't have a a, a trailer behind you an rv is not going to work because that's just you're kind of if you're talking if you can't have a trailer because of storage reasons rv is going to be out of the question having a cap on the back something like this is probably the most comprehensive camping all in one unit that I have seen. And so for me, some of the things that really I dig about this, now on my channel, I talk about utility, have, something having a lot of use to it. When you open this thing up right here, you have that massive space. And it's funny because when, when I first climbed up in there, I was, even with the owner was telling me, he's like, yeah, this is, you know, yada, yada, yada. I was reluctant to get out on the end. And that's a little out, sketchy. Yeah, it is. At first. But you, you, that's a lot of weight hanging out there. But these, these are really, these They're are stout. some really heavy duty poles. And so he was telling me, you can actually hold up to 600 pounds mm -hmm. cantilevered out there, which is a ton of weight. But do you do a lot of camping yourself? We do. We do uh, quite a bit. I'm not going to say a lot. Uh, if it's me and the kids, it's the rooftop tent. If it's me and the wife, it's probably going to be a cabin. 
Yeah, yeah. Got to have the the necessities for her, but we do. We get out. Do you guys even stuff. get cold winters out here? Yeah, I mean, this past winter, anybody in Texas that's watching this will know it was a joke. <laughs> I think we had one or two days of freezing outside of that, but a couple of winters ago, we had like three weeks. It, everybody calls it the snow apocalypse. It was ice every day. It was horrible. In Texas? Yes, it was <laughs> miserable. So it varies. I mean, Texas, the saying is, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Yeah, that's funny. That's pretty much the case. Sounds like Florida a little bit too. Right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was asking whether if you do a lot of camp or you do winter camping, because something like this, I think they coin this as a three season camper, but it's funny. Cause I do, we camp all year round. We're going oh, yeah. out all year round. Something like this, I think in states like, you know, California, we do get, especially with where we go, we do get some snow in the higher elevations and so forth. Right. But I suspect in a lot of the Southern states that just have a cold. Just, yeah, it just dry, cold, and, cold. Yeah. Yep. This is going to be a rock star. I'm, I'm curious in terms of the, I mean, well, actually, like a lot of roof rooftop tents, you know, if it's gonna dump like four feet of snow, I mean, you know, yeah. something like this, you might not wanna, you might wanna, you know, do it's, the cabin on that one. There you go. But with that said, man, there is, cause this thing has that Truma, Truma heater, heater in there. Yep. And with this small space right here, I bet you that's gonna keep it nice and toasty as heck in there. And then there, during the summers, again, you're asking me, what do I like about this? I love these big windows here. The, yes. uh, in the the video I just shot there, I'm talking about before I unzipped it. It was I have to admit, friends, it was a little it was a little <laughs> hot in a there. Warm, but as soon as you open up those screens right there, it's like that massive amount of air. And then, you know, it's funny as you know, I don't hold any punches. So the when I talk with my audience, I'm sharing with them things that I like, dislike, and something like this. Man, there isn't really much not to like about this. The only thing I could think of, it's funny. I, you know, with a rooftop tent, like clam sh or clam shell or wedge style tents, mm -hmm. one of my, one of my beefs with those is when you get in there, I don't, you don't have, unless they give you like a shoe bag or something. And when you get in there, I don't want to put my shoes in there. I agree. And I don't want to leave my shoes on the ground. I agree on that. Critters go crawling in it. Yep. <laughs> the only thing I can think of off the top of my head here is, well, there's two things. One I mentioned in my video and the other one just came to me as I'm looking at this here, it's like, where do you put your shoes when you get in there? Now you have, I'm sure you can make shift, you know, attach something or you know, right here that you or, bag, you could put a, right. your shoes there. But other than that, again, I'm pulling, I'm really having to dig deep Dave. for this here. The only other thing that the might be a con for some people with this is you do have limited amount of storage, but when you start diving into this, you have storage here, you have storage there, you have storage there, you have storage on the backside here. There's a lot of storage inside of this thing. And not to mention- What's in the back? The entire 12 to 14 inches back here, you have a tremendous amount of storage, I think in my opinion. Now everybody's needs are gonna be a little bit different, but the amount of people, and so that's another thing, that excites me about something like this. The, the I think they call it a two person or three, two or three person, mm -hmm. something like that. But man, correct me if I'm wrong, two adults. Easy. Right there, a kiddo right there and another kiddo right there. So if you're yes, a family sir. of four, yeah. yeah. You have a kitchen in there. You have a stove in there. You have, if you wanted to lift this thing up right here, shower. Uh, I mean, come on. you so. <laughs> Getting off grid. See, I, I get geeked out with this stuff really fast. This is, you asked, why did I come out to awesome. all the way from California out here? You have a camper here that, and I, so this is where I get it. I understand people's excitement and curiosity with something like this because not only do you have all of that stuff inside of here, but you have, when you think about it, I said something similar in a video that I just shot about this thing. When you get off grid, what determines how long you can stay off grid is the supplies you have. Supplies, water. Yeah, water. Food. So yep. friends, if you're not familiar with this here, there's a there's a gutter system that goes around the perimeter of this tent. And there's a couple uh, uh, ports here, or, you know, hose outlets here that you can take that water, run it right down into this right here. Boom, come on. Now that water is going to go into your tank and as I understand, you can actually get a filter system with this that you can filter it. And there's even a UV that's going to zap light. it even further. 
That way it's potable or potable water. Yeah, yep. you, you can cook, shower, do whatever you want in there. So now you have yes, that. Sir. You have the water situation. So that extends even longer your time outside. You have that big old 190 solar. watt solar panel hanging off the back end there. And actually this is the part that I was chuckling about a moment ago. You know, as it is, this right here creates this, this awning. An awning, this, yep. this space right here. But also technically, you know, this big old storage or I'm sorry, a solar awning, panel. Even further out. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really cool. I bet you, man, I bet you, you can even put like half walls on here to you know create like a, a changing room outside. It does something. have a track system on the sides right here that I'm sure some of the annex rooms, some of the different brands would slide into. That's so you so could cool. make an annex room back here. That is so cool. Again, the utility and the different uses with this and just again the amount of everything that they put into this here and there's a mercerator so again you have a you have a 17 gallon black tank mm -hmm. 18 gallon gray yes, you have sir. 34 gallons of water not including whatever you may capture if you're in an area that gets rain you guys get a lot of rain out here don't you yeah it depends on where you're at in texas yeah texas has its i always tell everybody texas has everything that the u.s has it might not be as grand, but we have desert, forest, beach, mountains. So it depends on where you're at in Texas, but we do get quite a bit. That's super cool. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I mean, you know, frankly speaking, that is when you look at the side of this thing here, it is, it's big. So yeah, I mean, that. what more can you want out of a all-in-one camper? So if somebody wants to get out of work on Friday, not having to worry about hooking up to any sort of trailers or this or that, just get in, drive, and setting this thing up, so what's funny is I set this thing up here. It was the first time I've ever done it. And I think they, on their website, they say you can set this up in two minutes. It took me maybe two and a half, three minutes. It was my first time setting yeah. up, but man, it is intuitive. It is really simple to set up. I'm with you. I like the small footprint for travel and then the large footprint for wherever you're camping at. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, bam. <laughs> yeah, when you first open it, you're like, whoa. This thing is monster. Yeah, a lot of a lot of space, and which again, you know, the when you can bring some of those creature comforts from home out into nature, that makes your wife happier. That makes everybody happier, and yes, it just you know, positive vibes out in nature. It makes you want to stay out in nature much more. Mm -hmm. I mean, what more can you ask? Exactly. On to here, where your ladder's at, instead of just the ladder in the door. That would be pretty have cool. like an annex room that comes off the top and comes down that way like you were talking about you got a place for shoes and has a floor base in it all right daniel this is what i'm talking about here on the inside you have okay up here you have this sink stove combo right there you have the space for a pretty good size fridge right there yes, you sir. have all your uh your hot water uh propane hookups for right there and one of the things i like most about in here i know in my video i mentioned my wife will not come out with us because of the toilet situation and skinny guy they took care of that so you have this is a fully functional flushing toilet that goes down into that black water tank down below yes sir all right so you have storage right there you have storage right here and incidentally also this is how simple it is to get this thing you can put this thing on and off your truck well about 15 minutes give or take that's awesome. There's the ratchet system. There's one right there. You have another one right here. And these areas right here, not only can you access them from up above here, and you have a lot of space for storage, but you can also access it from the back as well, which is pretty convenient. Both have the same uh, access point. And yeah, and this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the, uh, Daniel, this is this is for me the selling point. You, know, you look at this big window right here. You look at that big window right here. Now we're right next to a field right here and the lake is over there, but man, imagine being right next to the lake. You know, you wake up looking out at the lake right there and that you just know how amazing the air is going to smell. This is really quite roomy. And I'll tell you, I'm six foot. Yeah, and so this is, this for me is one of the big selling points. So you can actually stand. Now I'm six foot as well and I mean, there's a solid, at least another six, eight inches above my head right here before I even hit. Actually, I could walk up as far as I can up to the kitchen area, and that's pretty awesome. But at the end of the day, there is 
space is your friend. Again, this that that wow factor when you crack this thing open. When this right. thing opens up, and yeah, they did a really really good job on this. The nice part about with how it's mounted in the top of your truck, you lose the center of gravity a little bit because you get higher. But once it's open and you're laying in this bed, if the ground's hot, for an instance, you're up off the ground where you're not getting that radiant heat from the ground. That's such a good point. Such so, a good point. A lot cooler, a lot more comfortable. Most rooftop tent guys will tell you the same because they know they're up high just <laughs> like this. So AC is not always required. No, sir. And actually, in all reality, I mean, while this doesn't have a AC unit with heat here, but I was talking about this earlier. I'd be willing to bet one of those small little Zero Breeze uh, or even a EcoFlow Wave 2 would just do amazing things with this small, with the space right would. here. And if you paired it with the lithium battery system that we offer, as well as an AGM and the solar, I mean, you don't have to worry about your electrical. Your yeah. electrical will be covered. Indeed, with that big old solar panel in the back yes, there as well. that monster back there. Heck yeah. We appreciate you coming out, Alex. Heck yeah, man. Thanks for giving us your opinion and kind of pointing out some of the awesome things about this and giving us your opinion on some of the others. Everybody else, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below or give us a shout at BTR Outfitters. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.